idea. How'd you guess? I'm sorry, sorry, I didn't wasn't expecting you home yet. So did you get that camera shop job? No, well, somebody else got there first. You've got to be kidding me. You no, know, it's a jungle out there. People clawing and scratching at each other for the golden opportunity to make minimum wage. Well, don't worry about it. You'll find something better. Not tonight. Yeah, I went to every single store in that mall. Do you know how many are hiring? Mm -hmm. Two. Some some perfume shop and a pastry place called Get This. Take the cannoli? Oh, dude, I love that place. Seriously? What? At least we wouldn't starve to death. Uh, I'd take starvation over slave wages in a place like that any day. Oh, come on. It could be worse. At least no one's trying to kill you anymore. All right, this really turned into a tough night for the Ford family. What, are you get kicked out of school already? Oh, funny. No. Nate's the one with the problems. Nate. Yeah, our brother. What about him? Well, his car died, and while I was trying to help him get it started again, he was telling me all this stuff about his girlfriend. Things are getting really intense. Great, just what I need tonight, teen angst. Dude, stop. Seriously, it's, I mean, it's Star's sister, and she could be sent out of the country for some custody thing. It would really suck for Nate. <laughs> Well, as suckage goes, I think me losing this job and possibly this apartment sort of trumps Nate's love life. Okay, I'm just saying. Don't say anything, okay? You and me, we've got real problems. Nate's gonna be fine. What, I'm not allowed to feel bad for somebody getting a raw deal? I'm just trying to give you a little perspective, okay? What do you think is worse? Nate having to get a new girlfriend or you and I living on a park bench? Ah, oh, we're not even evicted yet. Only a matter of time if I don't start getting another paycheck. Bobby, that's not all on you, man. I can get a job, too. You have a job. It's called staying in school. I don't want you jacking cars just to put food on the table. Well, then I guess you're gonna have to suck it up and take one of those mall jobs. And spray cologne on giggling eighth graders at 7.50 an hour. Okay, no, okay. Okay, well, how about waiting tables? I mean, at least you get paid in tips, and Nate said they really add up. Nate again! Okay, look. God, dude, he got a job at the country club as a cabana boy and then got promoted as a waiter. He says he makes triple, triple what it used to make. Lucky him. Dude, would you just listen to me for a second? Look, he offered to put in a good word for you. And I told him that you were going to take that camera shop job, but now you don't have to. You can tell him that you are interested after all. So, problem solved. Robert, help the door. Now? Yeah, I've got a quiz tomorrow, and this book is making my eyes bleed, so I'm gonna go dig up the crib notes. Not before you tell me why you've been broadcasting details of my personal life to Nate. Dude, he asked how you were doing and offered to help. What's wrong with that? If you had half a brain, you'd take him up on that country club offer. No. Why not? Because then I'd be working with Nate. So, what's the big deal? The kid's willing to stick his neck out for you. If you weren't choking on your own ego, you'd do yourself a favor and thank him for it. Hi, uh, you must be the manager? Yeah, Bill Rhodes. Hey, what can I do for you? I'm Robert Ford. Um, my, uh, one of your waiters said that you might have an opening. Uh, which waiter? Oh, he's kind of new here. Nate Salinger? Oh, Nate, yeah, he's one of our best. You must be his brother. He spoke very highly of you. He did. Sorry I didn't make the connection. Different last names. It's, it's okay. Uh, so do you, do you have a, a job opening? Absolutely. We lose a lot of staff this time of the year. People going back to college. You have restaurant experience? I, no, not really, no. Why don't we start you out bussing tables and see how you do? Are you ready? No. No time like the present. Is there a problem? Uh, n no. <laughs> no. I just didn't see myself busting tables, that's all. Well, you can move up quickly if you work hard. But if you'd like to try someplace else, I hear Take the Cannoli is hiring. 
It's just, you've said stuff like that before about forgetting James and it doesn't seem to work. Well, I will this time. Well, I hope so. Don't start lying to yourself, Star. Start doing that and then before you know it, you're lying to other people and everything's out of control and you wonder how you got yourself there. Place, and this is nothing like what happened with you and Ford and Marco. Right. Well, maybe, maybe you're stronger than I am. Maybe you can bury your feelings. I didn't... Uh, when did you... I'm sorry, I didn't know that you worked here. Uh, I, I just started. Uh, Nate actually put in a good word for me. Well, welcome. It's a fine institution here. I'm, so, I, I'm sorry, I don't know if you've met Clint Buchanan. No, we've Clint, met. this is my son, Bobby. Hi, right. good to see you guys. Yeah, we've met, yes. So I think that we'll be sharing the porterhouse steak. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm not allowed to take orders yet. Um, just give me a second, I'll get your, your waiter. Excuse me. Guess he decided on a career change. Huh? Think this place would be a good fit? You, I swear, I'm just here to hit up the bookstore. Hey, you're back at school. Yeah, it turns out I got that grant after all. That's great. Well, uh, I'm not on the dean's list yet, but that's what cheat sheets are for, right? <laughs> about your sister. I'm... Nate! I do. What's wrong? I need your help. Bad. What happened? I'm losing my sister. 